Hello again, I am Blunty, and today we're looking at a product that goes wireless by using wires. Why would you want to go wireless by using wires? It seems a little ass backwards to me. Why would you even think about using wires in this day and age of Wi-Fi networks saturating every corner of the planet? Well, Wi-Fi isn't flawless. If you're using it in your home, maybe you've got too big a gap between one end of the house and the other end of the house. There are walls in the way. Maybe some of them are brick and they block the signal. Simple fact is wireless isn't perfect for every situation. Sometimes it's just a complete pain in the ass. So your other solution is to what? Run wires all the way through your house? Maybe put them in the walls or in the roof or run them around the house itself and cover them up with carpet and take them down to the, co the corners of your... It's, it's a nightmare. But fear not, gentle traveller of the internet super surfing highway web net thing is because there is a solution for that too. They've been around for a while. They look like this in general. They are power line Ethernet adapters. And basically what these do is you plug this one in somewhere over there, you plug this one in somewhere over there near your modem, you plug your modem into the Ethernet port in this end, and it sends the network signal through the wiring, through the power wiring of your house to this one which it then spits out again as a standard Ethernet cable and you plug that into your Xbox or into your TV or into your DVD player or whatever you've got that needs a network connection that maybe doesn't have wireless built into it. Maybe it's in a position in your house where you can't get wireless to it. This is how you fix the problem and today I'm looking at the latest batch of these from Netgear and these are the Netgear Powerline AV Plus 200 adapter. In the box you get everything you need, which isn't much really, two plug and play power line adapter kits and two ethernet cables with which to connect them to the devices. Duh. And of course if you need to you can purchase additional units to extend your network. On the front you've got three little Durblinken lights to let you know what's going on with power, network status and ethernet connection, but Netgear have been smart about this because if the unit happens to be in a location where those little lights would be annoying or distracting, you can simply command them to stay dark. They say this is a power saving option on the box, but truth be told, that's absurd. LED lights draw so little power, shutting off three of them won't save you sweet candy coated bugger all. It's secure too, at the press of a button you can automatically encrypt the connection. And even though you obviously need to plug in the unit for it to work, herp derp, you don't actually lose a power point because as you can see the front of the unit gives the socket back to you. And even better, it's a noise filtered outlet so it helps isolate sometimes sensitive equipment like home theater amps from line noise. And when the units are idle, they'll automatically drop to a power down mode to conserve energy, thus alleviating your green guilt for raping this precious mud ball of a planet of all its little resources. Right, so that's the basics. It's all very straightforward. It's very plug and play. Any chimpanzee can set these up and get up and running in your house. It's easier than setting up a wireless network for crying out loud. Just plug them in and away you go. It's really simple, really easy, really fast. And the little buggers do exactly what they say on the box. They work perfectly fine. I had zero issues with it and I used it on my Xbox 360 during the testing period and I was watching Foxtel on it, which is a streaming TV service we have here in Australia if you're not familiar with it. And that's just basically streaming data, pushing data all the time, just spitting it to the just constant streams of, of live TV data just go whoop and it didn't skip a beat. In fact, it works slightly more reliably than my Wi-Fi connection usually does. And there's only like five meters between my Wi-Fi access point and my Xbox 360 anyway. So it's brilliant. And it's even if you have a Wi-Fi network that works fine, this could be an option for you anyway, because the data transfer rate on this is much, much faster than your average Wi-Fi network as well. So if you're moving about lots of big files, maybe you're moving, say, uh, high-def video files from a central file server in your house to your laptop in your other room where you want to watch it when you get, whatever, this is a good idea as well because you can shift those things about much, much faster than you can over a standard wireless network. So there's an option there. Anyway, that was, uh, where's the box? Oh, we're done with it. That's, let's hold up the right way, shall we, champ? I'm so professional, it hurts sometimes. Netgear's Powerline AV Plus 200 kit comes with everything you need to get going. Does the job just fine. I um, I have nothing to bitch about this product, which I know you guys hate. When you when I do a review and I have nothing bad to say, you go, Oh, you're obviously paid to say that, you shill! But no, it's it's not. It's just... It's a very, very simple product. It's designed to do one thing. And because it does that one thing really well, I have nothing really bad to say about it. I wasn't paid to do this review. It's an honest personal review, as are all my reviews. Just a opinion.
It's what I think of the thing. If I like it, I'm going to tell you I like it. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. If there's something wrong with it, I'll tell you about it. If I don't find anything wrong with it, there's nothing to say. So get off my back. Step off my balls. I do, you'll normally try and find something to whine about it, but in this case, it's just... The little white box does what it says on the big white box. What more can you ask for? Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.